Hello YouTube designers and welcome on to this story. My name is Peter and on to this story we're just going to see how we can be able to add vac vacation mode to your e-commerce website or, what or whatever you're just going to do is for the satisfaction of the customer and for you not to miss out on the delivery and also maintain the trust for the customer this so that you can know uh, this date I cannot be able to shop on this shop so we're just going to add the notice this is how it's going to work not someone just go to the shop and try to shop uh, a product like let's select this one and they have this notice here they have this notice or else whenever they just be able to they succeed you see we don't have any add to cart button but whenever they have even if they have one product in their cart on that they have this notice that she, uh, that say our, our online shop uh, is closed today normal procedure will proceed on this day uh, i will also show you how you can be able to customize this notice here you can see uh, update the cart is not active and we don't even have the proceed uh, to the checkout page that's the tutorial for today uh, we're just going to see how we can be able to add the vacation mode in our e-commerce website or for free and without further ado let's just get into action and i'll show you how So the first thing we just need to do, we need to get to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu now we scroll to here we have the plugin. On offer we have these three options. Selecting the second option, we need to install the plugin that we facilitate on how we can be able to install how uh, to install the code. So let me close all this other here. We just need to search for this plugin called Code Snippet. Here we have it. It's by it's from the code. Uh, Code Snippet Pro, you can see more than 600,000 active installation as updated just one week ago. So we install the plugin. After successful installation of the plugin, we need to activate the plugin. So from there, uh, we have the Code Snippet plugin uh, on the plugin repository. You can use it, uh, you can add it from here. But the simple way and the easy way, you just come to the dashboard menu, offer on the snippet. And you, if you want to see all the snippet that you have on your website, just click on here but we just need to install uh, to add a new snippet so I just click add new here I just need to give a title so I'll call it WooCommerce holiday mode or vacation mode the other thing is just I need to just go all you just need to do is just go to this uh, I'll put the link of the description or how you can get this code I have included an article sharing on how to set everything but you don't have to read much about it leave around this one this one is just an explanation and i have the full code here just click come here and copy copy the code here after now you have copied the code go back here and you just need to paste the code so i just paste the code that you have just copied uh it's just a very simple code uh the one the first few lines here is to I'll trigger the holiday mode and the thing is to disable the cart checkout and add to cart button here are the few lines that are explaining and the other line here is the one that is explained and uh, that section the uh the last section here is the one that is giving the the notice that we uh, we have closed the shop and you can even customize this text this is the customer this is the text that you are going to customize but before we customize it Let's, let's now save the changes and reactivate it. Let's open the shop here. And let me open it in a private tab here. And after that, I just need to log in as the user. But before you even uh, check in, let's try to even uh, try to add the cart and see if it works. So you see we have the notice here and you see we don't even have the add cart button for any product. So with that, maybe if the uh, if they had one product in the cart, they can have uh, they can be able to see even uh, the whenever they try to proceed. So we can try to log in and see I had one product also. Let me. So I just go back to the shop. Yeah, we have one product in the cart. So you see now we have this. Uh, this note is here. You can be able to customize. Let's customize the text here. And you see, we don't even have proceed to checkout. We don't even update the card. We don't even have even the add card button for any of the product. So we just get back here. And we customize here and see our online shop is good. Of course, they please come back. 
just copy this text here. I not copy, just change, customize the text here and see. Maybe come on this day, you proceed to the normal procedures on Monday or whatever it takes. And with that, I have now added that the normal procedure will uh, will proceed from this day. From there, all I just need to do is I land the snippet everywhere. Make sure you select this one and remember to save the changes. And we just start. Let's now refresh here and see if this notice will update and change. Here you see the normal procedure will proceed or this date we have just added here. That's how you can be able to activate the vacation mode on your e-commerce website or your co-commerce website without adding a single plugin. Or the one the one we have just added is the one that we facilitate us for to add to be able to add the code. That's the tutorial for today. I hope you did learn something. If you did learn something, hit the thumbs up for this tutorial. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Till next time. Thank you.